back in this video here, I asked y'all if you wanted me to review some options for eliminating more liquids from your toiletry packing. I currently have a bunch of stuff in my Amazon cart of items that I want to try out and see how they work and if I really like them or not. Is that something you guys would like to see a video on? And you overwhelmingly said yes. So I am finally bringing you the liquids to solids swaps review video. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> Let's go. Over the past few months, I've been trying all of these items on various trips and here at home. I've tried everything from deodorant wipes to toothpaste tablets and all sorts of stuff in between. But first, let's go over a few of the reasons why you would even consider swapping your favorite shampoo for a bar of soap or your favorite toothpaste for tablets. The first reason is that you want to lighten up the weight of your luggage. Almost all of the solid swap items are much lighter than the liquids and take up a lot less space. Probably not quite enough space to pack another pair of shoes, but pretty close if those shoes are kind of small, like flip-flops or sandals. The second reason is that you want to pack carry-on only and you need more room in your liquids bags for makeup items, first aid items, or maybe even some snacks to eat on the plane. If you switched out to all of these swaps I'm talking about today, you'd probably have room for a whole jar of peanut butter in your liquids bag, as long as that jar is smaller than 3.4 ounces. And the third reason is that you want to be more eco-friendly and sustainable with your travel footprint. Most of these items use way less packaging and incorporate eco-friendly ingredients. I don't know about you, but anytime I can find an easy and cost-effective choice that is good for the environment, I try to make that choice. Admittedly, I am not the best at it all the time, but I'm trying. Let's get into the first swap and probably the one y'all are the most curious about. But I will warn you, I am saving my favorite swap for last. Shampoo and conditioner is probably the one, well, really two things <laughs> that take up the most space in your liquids bag or in your packed toiletry bag. And as we are growing older, and our hair changes texture, I think most of us have started using more specialty shampoos. Since I stopped coloring my hair last year and had it lightened, <laughs> I'm now using a purple shampoo and conditioner to keep the brassiness out of it. So I was really excited to find that the Ethic brand on Amazon has a purple shampoo and conditioner bar available. Because I was just trying it out, I ordered one of the trial packs in with two of the shampoos and conditioners in it. And I also ordered a tone it down conditioner, which is a purple conditioner. So I just came in from outside doing a bunch of yard work and I feel kind of gross. Got a cold from travel and um, I didn't want to, uh, <laughs> I'm being a little lazy and I didn't want to have to set up the tripod for the phone camera and everything, but I am going to try one of the bar shampoos um, and I have the purple bar conditioner that I'm going to try on my hair for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower and get clean because I need to <laughs> and I will do my hair probably tomorrow morning and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Hopefully maybe my cold will be feeling better by tomorrow too. <laughs> so this is the morning after I washed and conditioned my hair with the Ethic uh, Bar shampoo conditioners. Um, sorry you guys, I am still fighting that cold and I know my face my face shows it for sure. But I wanted to show you what my hair looked like before I do anything to it. So it looks, um, it's a little frizzy, but that's kind of typical. It is, gosh, God, for people who are looking for a lot more body, um, this shampoo and conditioner definitely uh, poofed my hair up quite a bit. <laughs> this is a little, and it's usually a little crazy and big, but this is even bigger than it usually is after I wash and condition it. Um, and it does feel really soft. It doesn't feel dry. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, I think, you know, it feels really good. So now I'm going to curl it like I usually do and see how the styling goes after using that bar shampoo and conditioner and then I will show you the finished product. Maybe even put a little makeup on this um, very tired and sick looking face. 
Okay, so I have curled my hair, put on very minimal makeup. I just have a few errands to run today, so I'm not going all in. Um, but I, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the humidity has been pretty high here the past couple of days, and I imagine when I actually get outside, it's probably going to start frizzing up a little bit. But I'll be interested to see how my hair goes over the next couple of days. I usually go three to four days between washing my hair because it is long and fairly dry, and so I can get away with it. Um, so I will check back with you guys when I hit the time that I'm going to wash my hair again. So you can see how the shampoo and conditioner have held up over three to four days. So I will see you then. So I promised y'all a video of what my hair looks like about four days after I washed it with the shampoo and conditioner, the Ethic shampoo and conditioner. And um, this is it, four days in. I think it still looks pretty good. It does not feel dirty. Like I could probably go another day or two before I really felt like I needed to wash it. And I've been walking three to five miles every day in the heat and humidity here in the summertime and it still it still looks pretty good now my hair is dry so i typically don't wash it very often like every four days or so um but i i have to say i'm i'm pleased with how it looks and like i said it doesn't look dirty um and it still feels really soft and nice and it looks kind of shiny and this is i didn't do anything to it today i just brushed it out after my walk so so yeah this is it, nothing fancy. Another option for a shampoo conditioner swap that came highly suggested from you guys in the community and a couple of other people are these gems. Unfortunately, as of the recording and editing of this video, gems are not currently available. But I decided to keep this review in here just in case they do become available again. I have also emailed the company and requested a discount code for y'all. So I will definitely let you know if and when that becomes available. Uh, you might wanna follow me over on Instagram because that's where I will probably post it. We are on our girls hiking weekend in Johnson City and I thought I would take the opportunity to test out another version of solid shampoo and conditioner that some of you guys suggested and Heather with She's the World also suggested, and they are these little gems. So they're like a little um, solid, actually, I don't know what they're like. Let's open them together and see what they're like. I'm getting ready to tell you something I don't even know yet. Oh yeah, they're like a little, almost like a paper towel looking thing. It's solid and it looks like it has the actual like conditioner in the center of it. So that's what it looks like. And this is the shampoo and then I have a conditioner too. So I'm going to try these out today and see how they go. I've got my shower <laughs> sparkling rosé to have while I'm showering because we did two long hikes, one yesterday and one today. So I am stinky and sweaty and this head of hair needs to get washed. Well, so far, I like those a lot better than the traditional solid shampoos and conditioners. They do suds up in your hand just like a regular shampoo would after you put the, like, the liquid in your palm. And the conditioner is more thick and creamy, I guess that's the best word for it, <laughs> like regular conditioner. And so far, my hair, you know, I know it sounds like it's super knotty, but it actually is brushing through pretty easily. So I'll be curious to see how it all looks after I blow dry it and curl it and all that good stuff. So I will report back on that. Oh yeah, still got the rosé. Cheers. So ultimately I forgot to get a video of myself after I did my hair that night in Johnson City. This is the only picture I have of us from that evening. And I think my hair turned out really good. It styled very easily and the humidity didn't make it all frizzy. So I was very, very happy. Overall, I really loved the Gems Solid Shampoo and Conditioner, which is why I'm really sad it's not available right now. Moving on to the next item that was the most popular suggestion to try, toothpaste tablets. I ordered these from Hello from Amazon, but they're a company called Hello, and used them for the first time on my trip to Isla Mujeres. Good morning. I am trying the toothpaste tablets that were recommended to me um, by you guys for the first time. So we, I think all I have to do is Take this little puppy, stick it in my mouth, and chew it up. And 
Get my toothbrush wet. And we're gonna go. Okay, well, <clears throat> it uh, is not foamy, which I kind of was expecting for some reason or another. It sort of tastes like you're chewing up a breath mint and then brushing your teeth after you've chewed up the breath mint. But I will say my teeth do feel very clean and um, my mouth feels very fresh. So in that aspect, they work great. One of the most challenging liquid items to bring with you, especially if you're packing carry-on only, is sunscreen. It can be incredibly expensive at tropical destinations. When we purchased it in Puerto Rico a couple of years ago, it was over $30 for a small container. And I have heard of people paying up to $50 for a bottle of sunscreen in uh, Hawaii or Mexico. Luckily, in the past couple of years, more and more companies have been creating solid options, which come in smaller packaging and will actually last longer. I really like this water-resistant one from Neutrogena, which is reef safe because it doesn't include these two ingredients that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. <laughs> I would highly encourage you to only buy reef safe sunscreen moving forward. Our reefs are dying off at alarming rates. And again, any little thing we can do to help our planet is awesome. Another brand I really like is Sunbum. I've had this little face sunscreen for a couple of years and it's so lightweight and feels actually really nice on my skin and most importantly it keeps my nose from getting sunburned if you're interested in any of these items i will have the links to them in the description below and in the first pinned comment so they will be easy to find i'll also include the gems link so you can put your name on the list to be notified when they're back in production if you would like i'd also like to take a second to thank those of you who do use my links and support this channel. I really appreciate you and I am so happy it allows me to keep bringing you what I hope is really useful information to keep your travels fun and stressful. The last item today and what I think I'm the most excited about is deodorant. <laughs> I bet you've never heard anyone being excited about deodorant before. <laughs> because I have such sensitive skin, the deodorant I use is a, one of the creamy ones, which is considered a liquid by the TSA. And the Secret brand, which is what I use, does have a solid option, but it can be really hard to find. I've also wanted to try to move to a more natural product. And in fact, I tried the Native Sensitive Skin Deodorant, but it did still make my skin break out. Plus, even with a solid deodorant, you're still dealing with a kind of bulky container. So I was excited to find these deodorant wipes, which are aluminum free, paraben free, and sulfate free. But I was a little nervous if they were gonna make my underarms break out. Well, I ended up taking them to Mexico and wore them hiking in Johnson City, where I got hot and sweaty in both places, and they worked great. I didn't have any allergic reaction to them at all, and they have a very nice, subtle smell to them so that it don't it doesn't smell like you've like doused yourself in perfume or some sort of oil one thing to make note of they are not an antiperspirant so they won't stop the sweat but you know my personal opinion is that sweat is good you're getting rid of all of those toxins out of your body they are perfect to have with you on the plane so you can do a little freshen up when you arrive at your destination and they take up almost no room in your toiletry bag. You can just take the number that you need for the days that you're going to be there. For more toiletry bag packing tips and hacks, <laughs> you should check out this video next.